Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Tinkercad friends, I've got a project for you in Tinkercad. Please get into create a new design, and I've got a vision of a boat uh, that is a paddle wheel boat powered by a rubber band. And uh, I want to build the boat out of styrofoam instead of 3D printed plastic just because that is probably more efficient. But I want to make my own groovy paddle wheel using Tinkercad. Now I've got a vision of a paddle wheel but I'm thinking also that this may be pretty wicked cool because it'll take me several times to find the optimum paddle wheel so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this on my grid to do that I'm gonna turn it transparent that lets me see that little line and boom now I've got it centered on a piece of uh, the grid you can see it's 20 by 20 as well I'm gonna keep it 20 by 20 and then I'm gonna build it to put a straw in the middle so I'm going to take a nether cylinder and set it to 6.4. Uh, this works for a McDonald's straw. I tested it with one of my students for a different project. 6.4 is pretty groovy. And then uh, so that it maintains um, the ability to stick inside there, I'll maybe use a little hot glue to hold it uh, when I go to test it. I'm going to group this first so that you can see the holes cut out. I'm going to make my paddle wheel uh, the exact width of the uh, center piece I made there so I'm gonna keep it 20 I'm gonna stretch it out so that it sinks into the water uh, 25 millimeters and then I'm gonna make my paddle uh, 2 millimeters thick and then I'm gonna use a line to align that so that it's centered in this direction and I just want to make sure it's connected on that side and then I'm gonna do control D to duplicate and uh, bring one to the other side. I'm going to just nudge it using the arrow keys to get it there. I must have missed my control D key. Let's do it again. And then with those two, I'm going to do shift to select both. And I'm going to do control D. And then I'm going to rotate those 90 degrees. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys again to move it across. And I'm going to make sure those three are aligned center. So shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. Align and align. And then I'm going to select all four of those. Because I want eight, I've decided. You can decide on different ones. This is another variation you can figure out. Uh, if I do control D on that and then take the uh, ones I just made and rotate them 45 degrees I have now got my first eight-sided paddle wheel uh, for my boat that I'm interested in making I'm gonna group it I'm gonna make it so that it's solid instead of transparent now and it is a nifty paddle for my future styrofoam boat I'm gonna call this paddle wheel one and uh, get it printing and then can work on variations to see how it works with my boat stay tuned build your own see what you make share with me and comment if you come up with cooler ideas uh, there are so many different modifications you can make for these paddle wheels and I think since we're close to summer this is gonna be a pretty cool project Zombie apocalypse.